Okay, let's continue to learn Etrusoft uh, Image Deep Learner. Let's start the software. And uh, today we're going to uh, learn four layer architecture. Four layer architecture, one, two, three, four. Now, why do we go for four layer architecture? Well, the, the first reason is concept uh, identification. What's concept identification? Here's a product. We identify which product it is. So this is object identification. <coughs> Excuse me. Another product, another ID. Now when you combine all the product together, uh, it forms a category. So the con concept, this is a watch. And then you put all different ring together, it's a ring. Okay, so uh, the reason deep learning can do that is you move up the ladder, all the fine detail are blurred together. So um, at, the, at the fine details, one watch is different from other. As you move up the ladder, they are all watches. Uh, that's one reason. Another reason is you want get features from uh, image segment. Remember the, uh, the last example, we have three layers. So feature extraction is from whole images. Now we might want to um, do a feature extraction from segment. So for example, we divide the image into four quarters, and we want to get some features from just this part, and the image from this part. So feature extraction from image segment. And after that, you combine features. You do feature extraction from segment features. So first get segment features, then you get the whole feature of this feature segment. So that's several reasons we go to four layers. Now in all uh, in, in all the architecture as we see repeatedly, the first layer is the same, last layer is the same. So the first layer is all identified curves. The second layer, if you look at the second layer, they all look the same. The last layer, the last layer, the last layer, the last layer, they all look the same. So the first layer is curve identification. The last layer is supervised learning where you pass the definition of match to the software. All the middle layers are feature extraction layers. Uh, the last time we extract feature from images. This time we extract feature from image segment. Okay, so now um, let's look at the data. Um, the data is chapter six and the features. So here's uh, what the data looks like. Okay, here's the data looks like. So we, in this example, we're going to learn three concepts, earring, rings, and watches. And then we are going to um, uh, identify them. So this architect, let's briefly introduce architecture. This is so four layer identify lines. Uh, layer two, we're going to uh, delete all the data. We're going to get a folder and extract some features. As we said, we're going to extract 500 features. That's from one segment. So the whole image, you are going to extract 2,000 features from this folder. And then we get another 500 here, another 100 here. Then once we get the features, we combine them together here. And then we're done this layer. And in the next layer, we simply combine all the segment the features uh, seg together. So four segment features, now we combine into one single features. Then we pass next layer as supervised learning. And then uh, we will um, then we'll do some testing here. And then once all done, we create a, a redistributable software. So that's the four layers. Layer one curves, layer two, get uh, extra features from segment. Uh, in this case, we have four segment. Layer three, we combine the features together to get some new features. Uh, layer four, supervised learning. Then we do testing and uh, then generate a redistribution software. 
and so we will continue next time to um, to start a layer two um, feature extraction from image segment. Uh, bye.